All right, lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Age of Imperialism mod as the Kingdom of Italy, soon to be the ANI and the Tallow Babel. Last episode, oh man, we, we, lost, we lost three divisions in in China. You know I had to reload and do that. <laughs> we weren't even looking, there was a last stand in, uh, in Beijing, I believe it was. So we've reloaded, that hasn't happened. We have our divisions here, safe and sound, our two tank divisions and our infantry division. That would have meant the loss, the loss of Messe and uh, Graziani. That would have been horrible. Absolutely horrible. Now, I haven't actually been paying attention to my research while I uh, did that bit off camera. Hopefully that hasn't been like that for too long. Maybe it has. New doctrines will be using that. Uh, and Saldo, yes, we will do the exact same thing again. Okay, I've already done that one, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Oh, look at that. Nice. Wait a minute, how much... Ooh, I think I really, I really did uh, forget about this, didn't I? Let me just quickly check my video so I can see how Testing much I actually one, had two, done. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Skip right towards the end. Come on. Ah, don't play with me, video. Oh, wait, what am I saying? That's that's the feckin' um. That's that's the that's one. That's fine. Left off May. How much the folk street that I have done? That's the real question that I'm asking here. Come on, Josh, show off the focus rate. How many focuses did I have done? Because I'm pretty sure I'd started into the... I had destruction of Mafia Fortresses done on the 14th of October. Uh... Oh, yeah, so I really have fallen behind. Okay, yeah, Fire and Arnie, yeah, I remember doing that. That's fine. Mafia's crushed at last. Uh, I think I had all three of these done. I think that roughly pans out. Yeah, and then we were just doing commencement of mining investments. I know I didn't read this one. 30 steel and Campania. 15 aluminium and Campania. Remove division in the north and south, which is giving us minus 15% stability and minus 35% comps. Well, that's it. We, 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 we completely solved the whole north-south divide in about uh, a few months. Campania gets two levels of infrastructure and one level of and one civilian factory. Taking advantage of the fact that our administration is focused on the region of southern Italy, it seems unreasonable to, to build there also a seed of an industrial base. Did I say unreasonable? I meant reasonable, my bad. Which may be able to develop in the future and catch up with our northern, richer part of the country. Yes, that sounds good to me. I'll close that up. Close up the media player. Yeah, perfect. Close up videos. No, that's fine. Onwards we go. So yes, as you can see, things aren't as bad in, in Spain. Uh, we've completely wrapped up the south, which we already did. We have our three divisions here, which are using artillery, which is fantastic. Because even the, the Republican Spanish also have artillery. So we've got just the standard 9-3 division here. Probably short on, yeah, still short on infantry weapons. We'll get our equipment. As you can see, I kind of ignored... Oh, I'm actually doing the factories. As you can see, I kind of ignored our... Uh, our research and focuses while I was replaying. So yeah, we got the we got the Caucasus in the realms pack. That's perfect. What else? Yeah, China's completely falling. Oh, I don't know why we're supporting. Uh, well, I suppose we're, we're supporting them because they're reactionary. We're reactionary. I would have liked the choice though. I would have supported the uh, King Empire because they are integralist and we are about to be integralist. Now, what else? Yes, that's about it. We, we have encircled. And destroyed many tens of thousands of German and American troops, as you can see here, as well as Spanish troops. So hopefully we manage to keep this role going. If we if we can just wrap this up, we can bring our full weight to bear on the Portuguese and smash them open, which we will. So let's get a battle plan here. Where? Oh yeah, go straight for Barcelona. They won't be ex well. I was about to say they won't be expecting that. They would expect that if they were real commanders, not AI. And yeah, the rest of their divisions are up north, so we'll only have to deal with the Spanish. That's perfect. Up you go. Into position quickly. Attack. Keep the attack going. Yeah. Straight across the river. Let's go. Oh, 
Uh -oh. oh, we're just that strong. We can be in circle and it doesn't matter. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Portugal Bros, it is about to be oh, over. I reckon we go to the south. Of the south has got fairly good terrain. North, north has actually got a lot of uh, fields too. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna go south. I don't see. Oh, there are Russians down here though. I want to avoid the Russians at all costs. Maybe go for the center, cut them in half. Yeah, maybe. We can do this. Ooh, metal, nice. Occupied Barcelona, yeah. War Merit Cross. Oh, look how many, look how many medals there are. The mod must have added more medals. There's never this number. This is fantastic. I uh, get the 10% break or 10% org medal for bravery. Yeah, 10% org can't go wrong with that. And strategically redeploy, please. Why can't you redeploy? Okay, I guess I'll just wait. Now. Oh, tempo de uh, tempo di decisione, 400 plus power. My God, 10% base stability at obligatory army service, which grants a uh, recruitable pop 7.5%. Is that just a law change or is that a national spirit? It's a it's a law change. Okay, nice. Going from volunteer to obligatory army service. Grand job. Now that the early stage of Umberto II's power seems to be coming to an end, the activities come uh, carried out under his aegis have contributed to a significant increase in support for Afar anarchy. Oh yeah, I remember that from Red Flood. Anarchy, yeah. Not act, not anarchy, anarchy. In Italy, it is time to start the most important part of socio-economic reform, but it is it, but it is necessary to choose a new one, more popular in the eyes of the Italian government. Still no, no, we have eight factories, fantastic. Finally get some tungsten for our artillery, and from the Visser royalty. Doctors available, we'll hang on to that for the time being. We're not even making support equipment, I don't think. Oh, no, we are, okay. We are actually making support equipment. In that case, get me, uh... I don't even have recon. Oh, my God. There's more Russians. That's a good time to pop a save. Ooh, putting good work up here in the... Oh, <laughs> never mind, yeah, there's a lot more of Liberia to go after that. Go for an encirclement, maybe? It might be difficult to get across the river. Encirclement in the down south, I think. Oh, no encirclement here. Just pushing. Oh, and we are pushing fast. Ooh, there's an encirclement if ever I saw one ready. You can circle here first, get the Russians. Ah, the daddy escaped. equipment too, that's good. Now we were doing tank stuff, yes. Ooh, I really am behind on our research, aren't I? Yeah, 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 because I, I did all this in the last episode. Ah, I should have paid more attention. No harm, I don't think it'll, uh, I don't think it'll hold us back too much. Now, Lunga Vita, I, Nazi, uh, a Nazi Nalista, yeah, long wife to the nationalists. A now becomes the ruling party. 50% integralist support, 200% of power, unlocks integralist politics decisions, uh, unlocks insults and border conflicts decisions. Nationalists seem to be an exceptionally interesting political group that has managed to gain the support of a large part of Italian society in the army, and more recently also King Umberto II as part of their support in the fight against mafia organizations. It is undoubtedly a positive fact that they are led by Italo Balbo, a good friend of the king. Good lord, he's an integralist. He's a friend of the king. He's, he's, he's very different from our own timeline. Well, he, he kind of got ingrained with the monarchy later in life, but uh, early in life he was a Republican. Conservatory, yeah, I don't mind it. why would I want that? No. That's going to be a no from me. Yeah, smash through here. Cut him off. One Russian division gone. Ooh, I see, I see a bigger opportunity here. To encircle three Russian divisions. How many Russians was that? Oh, ho, ho. Who was that? I don't recognize that face. Could go for Lisbon right now. We gotta destroy their army in the field. Forget this. 
What's this? Got a plan. Let's check the recording. All seems to be well, fantastic. No, uh, no, uh, my bad, my bad. Made in India. Okay. Port weapons two. destroyed Russian division. I'm just honing on the Russians. Our former allies, honestly, when this series started, I wanted to align with them. But, uh, it appears we can't really do that. Maybe we could have if we had gone for the Paradise Pact, but not now that we've gone, gone from fact then again, maybe, maybe still. I don't know, what am I saying? That the French joined the, uh, Soyuzniki. Oh no, they haven't yet. Okay. That's different from, uh, last episode. Now, increase the educational budget at the highest standard of education, which grants stability 5%, conflict support 5%, 8% research speed unlocks funding research complexes decisions, one research slot. The current budget for education in Italy is so small that it cannot be, even be treated as a bad joke. The situation uh, should be improved as soon as possible because the world is moving forward before our eyes leaving us behind. Now, about those uh, nationalist decisions, integralist politics, personality cults. Oh, is this just, are, they, are these repeatable decisions or? These are kind of like generic decisions. They're not really unique at all. Oh man. End of Wilhelm II's dreams. Interesting news coming to us from Germany. The current naval expansion program has been completed, aimed at making it the largest in the world. A certain stage of the history of the arms race at sea ends, initiated by Kaiser Wilhelm II shortly after a seizure of power. A new stage begins in which, in accordance with the new admiralty policy, smaller units and submarines are to take priority. How the fate of the Kriegsmarine unfolds is therefore questionable. Okay. End of Wilhelm II's dreams, and the naval plan is completed. Like, yes, technically his dream is over because it's finished. <laughs> That's an odd way to word it. He's escaping. Not anymore. Fantastic. Many, many encirclements we've achieved here. Look at all this. How many men? We've only lost eight and a half thousand men. That's not too bad. Which accomplished many encirclements. Glorious. How are things going for the Portuguese? 271,000 casualties. That is rough. We're already across the river here in the south. Fantastic. How many men was that? To another 23,000 gone. Lovely. Go for Lisbon, absolutely. Basic engine. Now, militarization of society. At army as part of the separation of powers. Army, naval, near experience gain plus 0 0.01 daily. 10% conflict support, uh, minus 5% air doctrine, land doctrine, naval doctrine cost. Italians must be ready for the challenges of the future, especially since the storm that looms on the horizon will definitely not be a light one. Indeed. Lisbon has fallen. Huge. Huge money moves being made. The Spaniards capture Lisbon. Lisbon, the historical capital of the country of Portugal, threatened to Spanish military forces. Advancing from all sides towards the military of the, towards the, military of the relatively, the, towards the middle of the relatively small urban centre. Fantastic. Epic fail by the Portuguese, yeah. That really did not work out well for you. I understand why you did it, though. The Spanish did look incredibly weak. Uh, I have to create a frontline for us. What do you call this, then? Honestly, yeah, get it up here and we'll do a run up along the coast.
Oh, very nice. Spain overpowers Portugal with the Spanish civil conflict taking heavy toll on the Spaniards. Few have expected them actually being able to successfully repel the Portuguese invading forces, not even mentioning striking back and conquering Portugal in the process. No matter how probable it was, that's exactly what, uh, what happened as the Spanish forces are now proudly marching through the streets of Lisbon, declaring the end of Portuguese independence and rise of new unity across the peninsula. It's hard to miss the irony of the situation and Spaniards are clearly willing to capitalize on it. In the end, Iberian unity was the Portuguese goal and it was achieved simply in a different way than they probably hoped for. One way or another, Iberian Peninsula is unified. Now, Spain, I expect, like, your utmost help in the coming war, please. Beretta, yes, uh, weapons, private scientists program. Let's we'll get all the, uh, all this stuff first. Anti-tank rifle, single-shot man, portable anti-tank system. Yeah, it's gotta be. Or no, want, eh, light mortar? No, actually, don't forget that. That's fine, then you can do support. Nice. Yeah, here's these humiliation decisions. Install some border conflicts. The era of imperialism, as the times we live in, are often called, require us to prove from time to time that we, are, that we deserve the place that we, uh, we occupy under the sun. A, pro a proven way to do this is to make acts that allow us to ridicule our rivals and show that we occupy a dominant position over them. So, humiliation of the French Republic. By committing this action, we shall provoke French Republic to either accept our superiority or force them to defend their honor against our valiant soldiers. So, like, they get an event, and either they can say no or say yes, and if they say no, there's a border war, or do we just get a war going on? Like, I assume if we, if we win a border war, like, we get Savoy or something like that, right? Maybe? I definitely don't want to humiliate the Austrians. Honestly, I don't want to humiliate the French right now either. I'll go after them if they join the Russian faction and not any time before that. Whew. Now it's uh, finally time to reorganize this. It has been in the pits for a while. I want to get credit to Annie, but the Bonaparte probably did the best there uh, in Spain. Yeah. And he's a quad drum here, so that's good enough. The Spanish monarchy has survived. Ruthless fanaticism. We've got 749 political power, my god. Okay, let's deck out the rest of the staff planner. Uh, army experience gain where land auction cost minus 10%. That's they all have that. Wow, Cavalero, 5 org, 5 defense, 10 max planning, 5 attack, 5 division recovery rate, minus 10 org. That's that's quite good. More for Graziani. Another 15% land night attack. Are you kidding me? That oh, that's insane. Oh, thank God I noticed that. Vittorio, Ambrosio, Mobile Warfare Theorist, 10% Division Speed, 10% uh, Planning Speed, 15% Land Night Attack, minus 10% Land Doctrine Cost. That is massive. Head of Department. Yeah, Air and Naval Experience gain plus 0.1 daily. Air Attack and Defense plus 10% each. Air power projection factor plus 10%. Chief of the Air Force. <laughs> Red Baron. Honestly, all these are really good. Yeah. Air range 10%. Night operations penalty minus 15%. Bad weather penalty minus 15%. Air doctrine cost minus 10%. Chief of the Navy. Fleas and beating, definitely. Alberto de Zara, 10% naval max range factor, 10% capital ship attack and armor, 10% attack and defense for screens, minus 10% naval doctrine cost. Chief of military intelligence, nuclear theorist, what? Just, yeah, yeah, Mario Arata, who's actually one of our generals here, there he is. 5% electronics resource speed, encryption plus 0.3, and decryption plus 0.3, radar station construction speed plus 10%. What else can we do here? Head of Govern. Yes, we will finally get a Talo Balbo. 10% stability and conflict support. No portrait actually for him in the game. I checked the files. Which was unfortunate. And we literally cannot change any of these. Okay. 
those are our companies. Yeah, we've got the entire co uh, government kitted out already. That's insane. Now we've got on saldo here. Armor and armaments, yeah. Sixty-six percent support, two-thirds of the country. Sounds good to me. Now it's time to come home. All of our men are home. Five hundred thirty thousand men. Fantastic. These mountaineers, yes, these are going to be essential. Let's not uh, let's not play around here. Wait, where are our... no our volunteers? Not back yet. Tenth of October. There they are. Football issues. The difficult times in which we live may still have its advantages. Our country may ho host the next World Cup, which would undoubtedly help to lift the spirits of our citizens. However, we would first have to spend money on its organization, money which we may not necessarily have at our disposal. Yeah. So we have the World Cup has to be held. 200 political power. Or we cannot afford it. Minus 50 political power, minus 2% base ability. Honestly, hell, hold it. Hold it. Because we've got so much political power now at this stage. It's crazy. Now, Gabriele Nassi, yes, we are definitely going to be using you over, I think, uh, we appointed Bergenzoli, did we not, as an advisor here? No, we didn't. We did not pr um, appoint Bergenzoli, but we did promote, uh, we did promote Mario Rata, who is right here, so in that case, we will give all your units to Gabriele Nassi, because you were busy being that advisor, whatever it is again, I can't remember. There we are, nice. Right, now, let's face it, all of you become, not all of you actually, everyone except the Mountaineer Divisions become that proper template. And uh, in, do indeed be called Divisione de Fanteria, not Granatier and not a uh, Grena, Granatieri. Did I get that right? Nice. Yep, that's our standard template for now. Oh, it says copy. <laughs> copy of infantry. No. Uh, divisione. Nice. Oh, that would have been a terrible breakthrough. I don't think we're going to be able to use these as... Uh, yeah, what we need is tanks. We need tank divisions. We need them badly. Did we get the better gun yet? We did not get the better gun yet. Okay. Gotta get that ASAP. This one first, though. Also, yeah, now we can use uh, all of our developers when researching because we just have so much political power. So, let me just quickly swap this. Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. Early 20th century artillery. Go over here and get yeah, let's get Ansaldo, just pretend. And then early 20th century, swap back, get Breda. I'm going to stick with Breda. And here, upgrade, no. Yeah, recon, yeah, badly. We're already using Breda, so we'll use this. Basic armor protection. Swap over to 1930 lice, yeah. And then swap back to basic armor. Oh, I can't change it. I can't supply the uh, company? Okay. Fair enough. We're almost fill, uh, finished this naval build-up plan, which is good. Is everyone trained? No, everyone is not trained. Get back out there and train. We've got plenty of fuel. That's what the fuel is for. You train. Be the best you can before going into battle. I manage core, yes. Air crew surveys, always. Think. Air wing training experience is quite good as well. I'll take this. I always take this. Now, naval refit yards. Repair speed and refitting speed is really hard to beat in comparison to what's literally just just amounts as research speed and design cost. Naval experience gain is quite good as well, though, to, to keep getting levels of naval doctrine. 
Ooh, what to go for? What to go for? We'll check out this one first. Are, are we already one into? We're already into fleeting being fantastic. That is what I want to see. Academy scholarships. Which one is the spirit available to our ideology? Okay, best of the best. Grand fleet. Go for grand fleet. Yeah. Spirit of the navy. We do have a smaller fleet in comparison with the British, the Germans, and the Russians. Mm -hmm. It would be really good to try and get down here and get as much of this as possible. Who knows, maybe even get a full naval doctrine this time, in this game. Yeah, maybe we just stay away from refitting this game and we just go for our full naval reform. Just try and get as much doctrine as possible. Then we have this. What are we... Oh god, we're into Grand Battle Plan? Oh... You know what? I don't go with Grand Battle Plan often. We'll make this a Grand Battle Plan game. Fine. Tip of the Spear. That actually really would be really good, because I do want to naval invade France for that naval invasion capacity. Speaking of that naval invasion capacity, do we have that like level 1 tech for doing it? We do. That's all that matters. We only need, we only need the first level. Um, yeah. Marine supply, supply grace. 24 hours. Look, 24 hours. In real life, yeah, it, it, it matters in, in Hearts of Iron 4. No. If it invades planning 20%, that is nice. You can't go wrong with, with uh, Professional Officer Gore. 5% Army Experience gain, plus 0.2 Daily Command Power gain. Land Doctrine cost minus 5%. Aren't we down to, like, to what now exactly on the uh, Land Doctrine? It's still 150. Yeah, yeah, we got 5% separation of powers, 5% a professional officer corps, 15% from Marinetti, and 10% from Ambrosia. That is huge. That's 35%. Oh, my God. 35% cost reduction. If we can just get rid of Avanti Italia, we'll be grand. Base cost 200. Is, is that real? Is, is that just what it is in this mod? That's crazy. Oh, because it's supposed to be World War One in, in the 30s. Oh, shit. Of, co of course. It makes a lot of sense. So all the doctrines are really expensive to... Nah. Mm. Humiliation of Swiss Confederation. I might. How are you for trains? We need trains. Sugar. No train, really? No train uh, designer? Okay. In that case, we got to take from right here. Just get two. Two should be enough. Oh, okay. Pronto, and yes, we're going to take two generals and just put them on the Austrian front. We will guess uh, Graziani. Yeah, okay, Graziani. Pronto, just to space things out a bit. I suppose we should get other signore. things in place, really, shouldn't we? Pronto. Get a core. Ready. Bastico. Vittorio Ambrosio we just appointed, which is a shame because he's actually really good. Talera. Now, Vrini could be good, actually. Yeah, we're fine. We'll get Bastico. Bastico, onto the Corsican border. We're going to try and get Korska if you can. I'm not giving you more than three divisions, though. If the French leave, then take it. I'll try and assist you with the uh, Regia Marina. What else? Yeah, I probably have to deal with you as well. But the French haven't joined the Soyuzniki yet. So we still have we still have something. This is one less front we don't have to fight in yet. I imagine you have a decent amount of troops, too. Yeah, you do. Now, Africa... How many tiles here? One, two, or rather one, two, three, four, five. So realistically, we're looking at about 18 divisions. We want about a, at least a core per tile. Uh, yeah. Take divisions with you. 
And don't take the mountaineers. I know there, I know there is uh, mountainous and hilly terrain in Algeria, but uh, I just can't afford to have the mountaineers be anywhere other than Europe. You can, well, you can actually only have 16 business. Okay, if you can only have 16, then we'll only use 16. And then over here for the British. We don't know if we, if we are going to get into a war with them, so six divisions will have to do it. Who's going to be the six? Again, don't take my mountaineers. Alright, uh, Bedolio, you are responsible for Africa. Which didn't, work, which didn't end too well in our own timeline. In terms of uh, Abyssinia. Uh, yeah, in the, uh, uh, Navarini. Yeah, you look good. Kind of like my cousin, actually. Down here again with the... I'm not going to send anything down to, uh, to Abyssinia unless the French join the Soyuzniki. No, I think that's about everything. And I'm not even going to worry about Malta yet. Yeah, and we'll bring Nasi over here to... Uh, over here to the west. Off we go, everybody. I think that's aligned how I want us. Uh, might take Bastico over here. Yeah, nice. So we outnumber the French heavily, which is really, really good. Coronation of the Tsar. Hopefully we won't have to fight the Austrians. They are definitely more aligned on Germany's border than they are ours. Okay, we just finished Dockyard there. That's fantastic. How are we looking? We got one, five... Remember, I can't do this before. It was 18, wasn't it? It was something like 18. No, 19 now. Okay, we must have finished another one. Okay, fine. 19, 20, yeah, we kind of have enough screens, kind of. I think I might, um, might take a destroyer here and see if we can do a bit better. Torpedo 1, sonar, or the hydrophones, yeah, fire control system 1, anti-air 2, light battery 2, oh, mine laying rails, no, light battery 2, and depth charges, yeah, fine. Just save that as whatever. No, okay, I should be a bit, uh... I should be a bit more attentive. This can be the Dardal 2 series. Or hell, we'll use the, the Roman numerals. Uh, mythology, historical mine layers, regions. Historical stories, perfect. And we'll guess and saldo screens screens covers destroyers, right? Yeah, because a destroyer is a screen. Yeah, right. Now. Just build me lots of those. Design a better cruiser too. Kind of go heavy on the screens, wipe out the enemy's screening fleet, and through that be able to kind of gun down their main fleet just to, due to the fact that they'll have no screens whatsoever. Uh, medium battery, light cruiser battery, right? Yeah. Torpedoes, that's good. Uh, I'll take the floor plane catapult. And I get three of you. Okay, perfect. Historical light cruisers. This is the Kisano class. I sure don't have enough. That's fine. We'll wait until we get a bit. We are getting uh, 0.3 a day. That's fine. 
Ruthless fanaticism, 200 political power, 10% base stability. Every Italian must know his obligations towards the state. The last thing we will need in the war is a group of striking workers or deserting so uh, soldier. soldiers. There, I nearly said shoulders. Now, introduction of the merit system. Add merit system, which grants daily political power, cost minus 0.15, consumer goods factories minus 10%. Italy must become a state in which the elite is an authority for society that will be ready to follow them and their will because of the wisdom and uh, because of their wisdom and responsibility. Roosevelt takes a landslide victory. Oil rush in Alberta. The least hurricane in Caribbean history. Damn, there's a lot of hurricanes. 1934, yeah, we will hang on for that. Oh yes, I forgot about this. This uniforms get all of that stuff. Everything that we're behind on. How are we doing in terms of supply? Particularly, yeah, the likes of you. How are we in terms of trucks? We do have a lot of trucks. Si, 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 Is that helping? Yeah, kinda. Should help a little bit at least. I just want to get you to the point where you're not actively attriting. Okay, I think I've accomplished that. No one should be actively attriting. That's the Dardo, that's fine. And increasing workers' rights. At increasing workers' rights, which grants daily personal power costs plus 0.1, uh, monthly population plus 15%, stability plus 10%, while the tracks Italy are entering require us to maximize our efforts so far. We must not make workers or farmers work under these conditions without properly rewarding them for their hard work indeed. French actually are experiencing attrition here. Or at least some kind of supply issues. Now keep making me those um, those Dardo twos. I'd say you can only just make the one. We'll probably have enough experience by the time that's finished. Basic engine, that's good. Yep, yeah, have to wait a while for this. Like I said before, we'll just come over here. Sniper, sniper rifles, binoculars, and more. Lovely. Flamethrowers, mines, and more. BBC Empire survives. Create black shirts. Add Avanti Kamichi Nere. Forward black shirts. Uh, stability 5%, surrender limit 5%, conflict support 5%, add uh, division attack and defense on core territory plus 10%. Each black shirt is a special formation of nationalists responsible for disrupting the activities of left wing and republican parties in Italy. By strengthening their activities with additional means, it will be possible to significantly increase their usefulness even during war. Epistemological problems of economics. Oh, it's about Mises. New ones of medicine I have for Viking. Already have a hell of a lot of men. Late 20th century artillery, yeah, get the, uh, the new 149. Probably have this uh, more, <laughs> more focused there away from that uh, trucks. Get more artillery, definitely. Now, stable platforms, no mobile limbers, definitely. Stable platforms, hydraulic recoil systems, rapid fire, advanced barrel forging, big guns, sliding uh, sliding beach block, breach block is what I just say. And then the advanced trajectory calculations. That's all finished, nice. The times of corporativis uh, corporativism. Unlocks economic decisions, add statism. Now this I think is a law change. No? 
Yes, we're going from interventionism to statism. Losing 5% uh, expected number of consumer goods factories. Um, getting 5% construction speed. Getting 15% factory and dockyard output. Getting 10% retention. And losing 10% cap and 5% growth. Sounds good to me. Now we finished that one destroyer, that's, uh, that's good. We should be able to make a better cruiser right here. Cruiser armor two, secondary battery, cruiser engines, radar. We haven't exactly invested much into the whole naval thing yet. That's because we uh, really need to get our land forces in place first before we even consider the navy. And the fact that our navy is already so large, that was just to kind of take our eyes off it for a moment. Uh, the Greece Sano to Syria. Historical light cruisers. Seems good to me. How much more is, is uh, how much more expensive is this in comparison to a start down? We can get around four destroyers for every one of these cruisers we built. Now that's kind of crazy. straight into the big fleece. Off we go and train up with the big boys. Ecstasy. Prague. New film. Increase control over the bank. You can't go wrong with that. How many? Oh my god, 15 free civilian factories. That, oh, that reminds me of the uh, urbanized the, the desert focus for Turkestan and Kaiser Redux. It's just the most overpowered focus. This is even better. Transform the land. Lazio, uh, Bolzano, Alto Adige, Sardinia, and 12 others get two building slots. Italy is still a country of agriculture except for the northern part of it, and thus it lacks the proper facilities to participate in the economic race with our rivals. Such a state of things cannot continue. Transcaucasia mourns King Alexander. Greater Kingdom of Transcaucasia. We haven't taken any. Oh, it's Andre. We're not doing too bad in terms of forces. We do have pretty much all of our fronts covered. Like I said, we'll put troops down here into Ethiopia if uh, if they join if they join the Soyuzniki. Honestly, I should probably get some troops down here to cover the British as well. Construction speed, yeah, sounds good to me. Transform the land to level of infrastructure, yeah, sure. Infrastructure construction speed, definitely. Research speed, hell yeah. San Riku Earthquake. Man, look at this. Mixed economic policy. 15 free civilian factories. My god. Private entrepreneurs in Italy must feel that the big brother, i.e. the state, cares about their good fortune. Yes, we do. We care very much. We're about to get a lot of factories right now. Lady Banner. Journey feels threatened. Oh, oh, here we go. Current policy of Germany the new, and the news related to it enjoyed great interest in the world. Fortress Germany. You going on the defensive? Sounds good to me. Our Lady of the Poor. Beautiful.
improving the military infrastructure. Oh my god, 15 free mills, are you insane? That's three quarters of our current industry in 21 days. Oh my god. Investing in the arms industry will definitely bring us more than one benefit in the long run. W what does this have? Okay, I don't know why you'd ever pick uh, this over this. At least based on what I'm seeing so far. I'll actually jump up here and get uh, some military factories right away just on the states that have 100% already. Westralia. Now, what else? Yes, more support companies badly needed. Logistics, Beretta, Signals. Budget reform, add increased development rate, which grants 5% stability, 10% construction speed, 3% resource speed, unlocks a yearly focus of decisions. Okay. And just like that, 15 free mills. My god. Insane. How many? How, how much support? Oh, we don't actually have a lot of infantry at the moment. Okay, get that up to 10 as well. Yeah. That's all I want to. Tungsten, more. King Kong. There we are. France joins the CU's next. The 20th century has undoubtedly not been the most kind towards France so far, and one of the main events that contributed to this rise was, was the collapse of the Franco Russian alliance. In the face of the crises in Serbia and Alsace Lorraine, but now that, uh, that France seems to be on the way to rebuilding its lost honour and glory, we are witnessing a reset of relations between Russia and France, culminating in France's accession to the uh, Seuzniki. The, uh, this event undoubtedly enjoys great international interest, as evidenced by the protests against it by virtually all countries of Central and Western Europe. Are they. Mm. Things are shaping up to be decently historical. French and the Russian alliance, the, the southern Slavs, and with the exception of the Bulgarians, and how they managed to get that. Yeah, yeah, because like it's not it's not Ferdinand here, it's Alexander the First, so they had to somehow they somehow conquered Bulgaria and integrated them directly. I'd be fine with this if it was like a Bulgarian -led kingdom of Yugoslavia, something like the uh, Kaiser Redux and Kaiserreich actually. Ooh. This now guarantees a war with Abyssinia. So we need a I don't know about sending down three divisions per tile. Yeah, they don't have that many men. We send down two divisions per tile. And where am I supposed to get the men for that? Graziani, I think. All right, let's bring our divisions down here. Alessandro Birioli. Not Birioli, yeah, Birioli. 
Congratulations are coming down here. Oh, this is shaping up to be a very fun war. A war on many, many fronts. But not huge fronts, which is which is the, the most important part. Because if if it's many wars on many on uh, on huge fronts, then it, things kind of can kind of uh, get hectic. But, but when it's many wars on small fronts, then it's fun. Because it's usually still a war of maneuver. Now, okay, we need a couple of uh, we need a couple of new marshals. We really need a couple of new marshals. Who 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 wants to get promoted? Who deserves a promotion? Messier deserves a promotion. So does uh, Massey actually. Yeah. But I I, 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 I like using Nasty as a general because he's, he's uh, one of our more powerful leaders. And Alberto's not bad, to be fair. Ambrosio is currently... Yeah, we'll, we'll promote Messi. Formazione. Or Messi, rather. Pronto, signore. He can handle... Sì, signore. Southern Front. Let's do this again. As you can notice, I'm using one field marshal per front. I just that's just the way that I like it. Graziani, do not become do, do not be frightened of going to East Africa. I promise you it will be okay. Very many divisions for this northern front here. The southern front is fine, but yeah, mm. we'll, we'll advance rapidly across these flatlands and the hills. Some territory here, the desert. We'll advance across that, no problem. But these mountains. Eesh. Now, who else wants to get promoted? We're not going to make Bastico a marshal. I think I think did Mussolini, Mussolini said something about making his secretary a marshal or making his his adjutant a marshal or his dog a marshal or something like that. Gonzoli wouldn't be a bad choice, actually. Or the uh, Adalberto, yeah. Make the monarchy happy. Honestly, yeah, I'm fine with that. He's a decent level. Pronto, there we have it. Our martial problem is solved. Oh, no, 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 it's not. We have one more to go. Who else wants a promotion? Ambrosio is, is assigned. He is, isn't he? He's somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Not that, not that it's necessarily the same Ambrosio, but it's probably the same Ambrosio. Garbaldi? Eh, no thanks. Cavallero, I think I've also assigned, haven't I? I think I remember assigning Cavallero. No? Okay. Royat has definitely signed Aricio. Cautious Commando. Prasca. And did I really not assign Cavallero? I could have sworn I did. It was definitely an option, though, right? I don't remember seeing his face. Or not his face, rather, but his, but his name. Yeah, there he was. Uh, Desert Fox? He's not the worst. Gazera. Talera, yeah, but I would you I would get Talera, but uh, I want to use him as, a, as a, my armored general under Messi when I eventually get tanks. Cavalero is not too bad. We'll get Cavalero. Oh, there's a whole swath of new promotions here. Defensive Doctrine. Charismatic. Adolio is fine. He already has everything. Defensive Doctrine. Improvisation Expert. Yes, absolutely. World of Fighters is good too, actually. Graziani. Defensive Doctrine. Uh, Gambara. Guerrilla Fighter. Remember, what was it Gambara said in our own timeline? I think, did Gambara say that they wanted to lead an army to take Berlin or something like that? I think he might have after... Uh, he said something about leading an army. Though I don't know if it was to... Uh, take Berlin, but I thought it was something Gaston Gambara quote. What did he say? He 
definitely said something about leading an army, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's fine. Now, Messe, aggressive assaulter, it's gotta be. Oh, we can get three. Nice. Standard Messe W. Uh, yeah, aggressive assaulter, offensive doctrine. Uh, oh, I'm one short. Sure. Do I, have, do I have aircraft assigned in a region? Maybe I can uh, call them off. No? Okay. Aircraft, that's another thing. Oh my god. I need those. I'm gonna gotta be down. Oh yeah, we're up here from when we. Uh, we're in Spain, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Now we only have nine, nine military factories. What happened to the rest of us? We just had like 15 and 9. Did someone stop buying our resources? Must have been that. Ah, damn it. Continuing the friendship with Germany. Do we, do we have to be at peace with this? I don't think so. Ooh, that's how we get our, uh, that's how we get our claims. Also, we don't have a big need. 250 naval experience, my god. We don't have a big need for army experience at the moment, so we will continue with our economic tree. Increase control over the central bank, add an efficient central bank, which grants daily fiscal power class minus 0.15, consumer goods factories factor minus 10%. The Italian Central Bank must become the backbone of the Italian economy in order for us to survive this crisis, indeed. Even though we have, uh, you know, 600,000, it's not a small army, but it is it is widely spread out. I actually do feel quite good about all of the forces that we have uh, positioned. As long, as long as the Austrians don't join, we should be fine. Other than that, yeah, and the, Yugos ah, the Yugoslavian sugar. Uh, that's another front I need to man. Five tiles. One, two, three, four, yeah. So that's at least 10 divisions that need to go down. Oh, middle here to be assigned. Lovely. Took Porto. Give you a division org. Middle for bravery. And that's yet one more marshal that we need. Who wants a promotion? We'll give it to Arisio. Oh, we don't even, we don't even have the uh, plan power right now. That's fine, we'll guess. Where is he? We'll guess. Zoni back. Congratulations, you're going to Yugoslavia. Take him to Yugoslavia. I expect you to be able to conquer this, but um, do your best. You still have a numerical advantage over the French, good lord. Ooh, investments in the south? Hell yeah. Pronto. Yeah, now it's time to create yet another theater for you. Italy, Sardinia, no, actually it's Italy, Tunisia, Sardinia, Albania, Libya, yeah, perfect, and lose.
Now, what else do we need? Have we finished researching? Recon one we have. Okay, good. Need to implement that immediately. That is the... 11 divisions are using it. Sugar, who's using it? That means we need even more... Um, artillery than previously thought. It's all of them. Yeah, there we are. Uh, motorized recon, engineer, support artillery. I can afford that, that's actually good. Need even more artillery, yeah. A story of friendship between two empires. Ah, oh, it's Britain and Japan? Oh, come on, Japan, I was. Ah, oh, I was counting on you. I was counting on you to pull it out of the bag. And attack the attack the British. Who are the Dutch will align with? How long till we get rid of this uh, horrible malice? Okay, it's soon enough. Soon enough. Um. Yeah. So now I reckon it's Air Force time. Even though we we haven't done any research. We don't have it ready. What else is there? Anti-aircraft guns, actually. Yeah, we need some anti-aircraft guns. So that we can get some mass port artillery. Okay, hold on. Loch Ness Monster! Third Empire of Mexico, fantastic. That could... I mean, I would say it'd be useful if they joined the Reichs Pact, but then they'd have drawn the Amer... Never mind, the Americans are already... Oh, no, no, sorry. Hush my mouth, they're in a different faction from the British. That's actually really good. That's actually really, really good. If the Germans start getting a bit too funny with the Realms Pact and doing stupid things, I might just literally leave the faction and... In Italy against everybody and just form our own faction that still doesn't have the... Uh, French or Austrians in it. Now, construction of highway networks, Lazio, Bolzano Alto, Adigia, Sardinia, and 12 others. One level of destruction, one building not Fantastic. Italy's road infrastructure needs to be improved, and the multitudes of unemployed people have to get jobs. Yes. Here we are. Got some more civilian factories. It's good. We are experiencing attrition. Yeah. Kingdom of Italy is a colony state. Ooh, I might... Do we actually have a supply hub uh, here? We do, we do. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah, it's not connected by rail. That's the problem. Fix that. Can I drag things, please? There we go. That should help things immensely. I'm sure enough it has. Now, investments in the Isles. Actually, I need, I need to reinvest in the South. If you want the Mafia problem to never be reborn again, we have to eliminate the source of that is the poverty of the island regions of our country. Calabria, two levels of infrastructure, two civilian factories, one naval dockyard, three naval bases. The exact same for Campania. That is strong. Now, investments in the Isles. Sardinia and Sicilia each get two levels of infrastructure, two civilian factories, one naval dockyard, and three naval bases, and three building slots. If you want the Mafia problem to... It did, our island regions, yeah, the exact same, that's fine. Perfect, we're on with that. Transform the... Oh, that, that, that might have been what it was, our reduced uh, civilian factory when we had the consumer goods factories factor. Fifth resource slot, one resource slot for 125 power, good deal. Boost civilian economy, damn, that's, that's pretty strong. Boost warrant, sorry, yeah, do that. Damn, instant resource slot, wow. Uh, engines 2. Basic small, basic small airframe, actually. What have we got? Air Mackey as well as Alfa Romeo. I, mean, I think we go for Alfa Romeo. Range focused, medium planes, transport planes, fighter and carrier fighter, yeah. 
Oh, Mexico! Really? Well, you know what? I suppose the Russians sent you five divisions and we, we only sent two because the, I would have sent you more if, if I could have, but you didn't. But I, but I didn't have more, so I just sent you what I could send you. Actually, you know what? The chance was thrown to the USA. Yeah, this is actually fantastic. What am I saying? No, never mind. Mexico will stay in the Russian faction because this will get this will get the Russians into a war with the Americans. This is fantastic. Let's stay exactly where you are, Mexico. Now we have enough command power. Time to get yet another marshal. Kind of. Yeah, we said we'd go for Mario Aricio. Get you right there. Thank you. Defensive Doctrine. Charismatic. It's 33, yeah. Field Hospitals. Beretta. Maintenance companies, Beretta. Get more dockyards available, fantastic. Go for more cruisers. Go for heavy cruiser. Battle cruiser. Battleship. Carrier, another carrier. Cruiser armor two, secondary battery. Carrier, and which is better? Uh, 50,000 horsepower or. 95,000 horsepower, damn. It's the exact same max speed, what? Right? 20mm Breda, yeah. It's gotta be hangar space, absolutely. Historical carriers, sure. This can be the... Moralia 2 series, perfect. Saldo battle line shipbuilders, yes. That affects carriers. All battleships, cruiser ships, and carrier ships, perfect. 23 years, that's not too bad for only two dockyards. Nice. Now, create special industrial zone. Emilia Romagna gets two levels of infrastructure, one civilian factory, five military factories, and three levels of anti air as well as six building slots. Emilia Romagna has a very, uh, has a very favorable defensive position, thus a new military industrial complex should be established there. This should give a boost both to the region as well as to our army logistics. Now, three military factories, yeah, more anti air. We need more time, we need more time. Italy will not enter any war until we are ready, I'll tell you that much. There's the Breda. Okay, there's the heavy aircraft designer. Multi-role tactical air aircraft. Breda. I'll just stick with that for a mail. So using the keys, Congress. Quickly check and make sure that all of you are have the fully motorized supply hubs. Yeah, all of you do. That's good. Not a tritting. Good. Trition should be any in. Fantastic. First solo flight around the world. We seem to be really short of trains here. Definitely get that up to five. Also need to get the uh, the armor train. Actually, is what we need. Artillery is being filled. What else? How are we doing on infantry equipment? Yep, might actually get more of that. Now, increasing role of charitable organizations. 
and Caritas, which grants 5% stability, 5% conflict support, offensive conflict, war, offensive war penalty, stability modifier plus 15%, defensive war penalty modifier, or penalty stability modifier plus 25%, that's fantastic. Good relations with the Catholic Church that we have managed to create recently create for us some opportunities that we simply have to take advantage of. Taking advantage of opportunities sounds good to me. Army of the Rising Sun. Oh yeah, sure. The Japanese will go after the Americans and then definitely get the British into a war with the Americans. Damn, yeah, the Americans have to fight the Mexicans. Oh, the, the Americans will have to fight the Canadians, the Mexicans, and the Japanese, and the British all at the same time. That's really good. Keep them away from us. Away from uh, Germany and Italy. Now cooperate with Fiat. Add Fiat products. Armor research speed. Air research speed. Motorization research speed. 5% each. Armored car. Trucks. Mechanized. Armored, nah, sorry, armored car. Minus 10% production cost. Same for trucks. Mechanized is minus 15%. Then armor fighters, carrier fighters, close air support, carrier close air support, naval bomber, carrier naval bomber, heavy fighter, strategic bomber, tactical bomber, production cost minus 5% each, production efficiency growth plus 5%, trade and opinion factor plus 15%, the Fiat company is the core of the Italian automobile industry, but to be honest their commercial offer has long surpassed producing only cars and trucks, by cooperating with them we should be able to increase, we should be able to increase largely the numbers of useful mechanized equipment that our army needs, nice. Finally, we get rid of this horrible national spirit. Now, La Era della Bella Econom Economia, the era of beautiful, beautiful economics, remove the evil influence of the Panic of 1931, and we get 300 political power. The Panic of 1931 hits, hits Italy less than other countries, though still severely. Now, however, when the appropriate reforms have entered into force, um. And the economy has revived again. The negative effects of panic should begin to disappear. The French Empire is back. Peytan restores the monarchy. The, okay, we have a very different Peytan here. Integralist God. I hate to fight another Integralist brother like this, but you have land that we need. Let's make sure we're not behind on anything. Going with this actually, Breda, yeah. Now, the, ooh, yes, the industry roars into high gear. Beautiful. Why do we suddenly need so much steel? What happened? Huh. What's that about? No idea. Uh, we buy it from the Germans, simple, uh, simply put, because we don't have any subjects yet. Might actually close them all up. Yeah, there we are. So I can see the Navy at the same time. But I think that is a good place to leave this episode. We triumphed in Spain, and we have completely revitalized our economy. We have got all of our fronts covered. Though we will... Uh, Hopefully be getting a few more divisions out. Mm, I, wonder, I wonder if we can conquer Ethiopia with so few men. Then, then again, they don't have a lot of men themselves. I, I see the 122 there, but the lower number is uh, 67,000. Like, we've got six, almost 70,000 men for the northern front and almost 70,000 men for the southern front. We add in some more support companies. Definitely get a numerical advantage on them. Six divisions for the British in Libya. To be fair, we need more to actually cover Somaliland down here as well as Sudan. More than enough to conquer Algeria, methinks. Farska, hopefully, yeah, read your marine of that. And yeah, we need to build up this more so we can reliably smash through the mountains. We need to get an air force out. Hopefully the Austrians don't join. I get the feeling that they might. Hopefully they join on our side, rather. And uh, not on the enemy side, or at least stay neutral. I wouldn't mind neutrality at all, and then we can conquer them after the war. Yeah. We're in a really good position. We got Balbo. 
We've got our economy ready. 44 military factories, not too bad. Decent little civilian industry, 127 factories total. So plenty of manpower, 643,000 men in the field. 81,000 man navy, 12,000 air force. Yeah, we, need, we, we uh, really need to get the air force off the ground. But alright lads, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comment section of this video, and I shall see you in the next video. But until then, goodbye.